Chevy, Chevy, Frankie, and the Weasel. How you guys doing? Just me and you guys at home. It's just the guys at home again today, right? Yeah, how's it going, guys? Does anybody want to go outside? Does anybody, whoa, whoa, what was that? You want to go outside? No, nobody? Want to go outside? It's this way, follow me, I'll take you. You go outside. All right, Frank. Frank's leading us. I'll show you where it is. It's always over here. Right over here, you see? Let's go. Let's go, Harry man. Open the door. I need to go. Open the door. Hold your horses. Man. All right, there you go. All right, all right. Don't step on them, guys. Come on. Whoo, what a beautiful day out here. Frank, come on, go a little further away from the house, okay? Don't pee right by the house. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on Frank, go on. Shoo, 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 shoo. I'm going. Don't tell me what to do. What a beautiful day. Look at these guys, just loving it. So today's the day where I'm attempting to make a good dinner. A steak dinner with scalloped potatoes and Caesar salad. <clears throat> My mouth is watering already. Gonna cook the steaks to a perfection. A perfected medium rare with all the right spices. Some delicious scalloped potatoes. I've got a recipe and instructions to follow, so I can do this. I can do this. Britt's working hard. She's uh, it's her, their really busy season at work, so she she works hard all day, and I don't want to make her have to come home here and cook dinner yet too. So I'm gonna try to pull my weight around here because I'm not really doing anything here today. I'm just sitting around, so may as well make use of myself, and I'm gonna make us dinner. I'm gonna try to make us dinner. <laughs> I can do it. I have faith in myself, especially since there's steaks involved and I have YouTube and I have recipes and I have all kinds of ways of figuring out how to do this. So I've already got my recipe for my scalloped potatoes. They're going to be delicious. The only problem is we only have two steaks, one for me, one for Britt, but Britt wanted to uh, invite her dad and her stepmom down for supper as well. Or they asked, if they, I don't know how it worked out, but we're having guests now for supper. So I don't have enough steak and I'm getting steak either way. Either way, I'm getting steak. So I want them to have steak too, otherwise they might get jealous. I'm a bad host if I don't offer steak, right? Everyone gets steak. So the problem with this is that it's Sunday and we live in the Bible Belt of Manitoba here, the Bible Corner, whatever you want to call it. Everything's closed on Sunday, everything. Walmart's closed even. Everything's closed, so there's no place to get meat except for in the French municipalities because they're a little bit more, uh, they're a little more worldly. <laughs> <laughs> they, they keep their stores open on Sunday because, you know, they're smart. They're like, hey, why would I restrict my ability to make money to only six days when there's seven days in the week? So we got to go all the way into the next municipality, uh, into the French municipality, into a little French town and go to their little grocery store and get our meat there. It's a French town. It was French originally. They all speak English, but it's, it's hard to explain. They're French towns, but they speak English. But that's the only place you can get meat on a Sunday. So I'm going to go there and grab two more steaks. I hope they got some really good cuts. And see what we find. Come back and start preparing this dinner. We got the goods. The grocery store in St. Anne, Manitoba is open on Sundays. Just so you know. For your convenience. You know what convenience stores are supposed to be. Well, actually, grocery stores, I guess, are not technically convenience stores. But it gets very frustrating sometimes. <laughs> when nothing is open around our area on Sundays. But, you just sort of get used to it. I'm gonna go to the next county, the next municipality, get our stuff there then. Okay, Diesel, you gonna help me with this? You gonna help me with this? Chevy, you wanna help? I don't know if I want your help, man. I think you might just eat everything. All right, so uh, we got the steaks over here. We got the two that I picked up here. We got these other two here thawing. So that's ready. That's only gonna take what? Between 10 and 15 minutes to cook outside. So that will do last. Right now we're gonna start with the scalloped potatoes. I'm looking at this here and on the bottom there it says, can you see that, the, the writing there? Uh, no, it's not focusing. It says conventional oven, microwave and dishwasher safe. No stove top, no broiler. So that's good for in the oven, right? I think so, because I'm going to put the scalloped potatoes in here. Get it in the oven. Okay. Now let's go to the recipe. 
Here's all the ingredients. I need the directions. Directions. Okay, preheat oven to 400. Well, I don't want to cook it just yet. I want to get it ready to be cooked because it has to be ready for around 6 o'clock or 6.30 when Britt gets home. And apparently this recipe takes about an hour and a half to make and it's 4 o'clock now. I don't want to make it and have it ready an hour before she even gets home because then it'll be cold by the time she gets home. Thinking these things through. I just want to get everything ready so that it's all here and good to go. Cutting the onions. Oh my. Oh. Oh, I need a break. I need a break. Oh. Who knew cutting onions could be so emotional? Wow. So I've got pretty much everything ready here. I'm just trying to get a hold of Britt because I don't know where she put the chicken stock. I'm supposed to use chicken stock to make the cream for on top of the scalloped potatoes. And she said she went out and got everything yesterday, but I can't figure out where it is. I found some beef broth in the fridge, but I don't know if I can substitute chicken stock for beef broth. It's kind of frustrating. I wish I would have paid attention to where she put everything when she got home yesterday, because now I don't know where anything is. Constantly asking her, where's this? Where's that? Where's that? Where's this? Whew! Onions. Well, it's been an adventure, but <laughs> there it is. Cooking away. It's got about 10 minutes left. I think it looks good. I think it's gonna taste good. Britt's dad and stepmom are here right now. And Britt got home from work already, so they're outside in the screen room enjoying the outdoors. It's a beautiful day outside. I've got the barbecue heating up out there. So as soon as uh, that gets out of there, I'm gonna go out there and throw these on the barbecue. Cynthia likes hers well done, so I'm gonna have to put hers on soon. I should actually go out there and put hers on there now. I gotta tell you guys, I like the way this is looking. I like the way everything's going. Got all the steaks on the grill right now. This is coming out in two minutes. Gonna let that cool for about five minutes or so after that comes out. By the time that's cooled down, the steaks will be done. Let those cool for another five minutes while I do the salad. Everything should be served fresh and warm. I'm not a cook by any stretch of the imagination, but I think I could become one if I tried hard. I like this. It's a good feeling of satisfaction. Like, I hope it tastes good. It was a success. Everybody loved them. Or at least they told me they loved them. Nonetheless, it made me feel great. I think it was a success. I'm gonna have to do this again. It was a lot of fun actually preparing food. It took me longer than it probably should have, or took me longer than it would have if I would have known where everything was in the kitchen. But next time, I'll be better and faster. So I'll try it again sometime soon and see what I can come up with. Maybe tomorrow. Future Josh coming at you. I'm in the truck editing this up right now. I think that meal went very... Everybody told me it was delicious. And unless if they all lied, which is a possibility. Uh, I was very happy with the way it turned out, like I was saying in that last clip there. I, was, I sort of surprised myself that I could make some food and it tasted good. You know, if Britt didn't like it, if she didn't think it was good, she would have told me. She's a very blunt, very straight to the point kind of person. You know, if she doesn't like something, you'll know. I'm like that too, and I appreciate that in her. Probably why I'm so attracted to her, because I, I don't like people who beat around the bush or people who, you know say things are nice when they're really not nice or say something tastes good when it really tastes bad you can trust her for an honest opinion every time and i appreciate that about her and she said it was really good so next weekend when i get home i'm gonna try cooking something up again something different sort of expand try something new and like i said there it, it was a lot of fun a learning experience i know i didn't film it as good as i could i was more focused on not ruining everything but maybe next time I can, I'll be a little bit more confident and I can show you guys a bit more. So in the future, like I, like I said, I'm in the future right now. I'm in the truck. We're headed out. Uh, my load sort of got changed on me. Spoiler alert. Uh, so I'm not headed to Ontario after all. But uh, headed somewhere else. Here with the weasel. Diesel. You haven't been eating like I want you to. You usually eat three to four cups of food a day and you've only been eating like two concerns me.
I'm always worried about him getting sick. He's gonna be seven years old, so like I said, he's not that old, but I'm I'm worried about him getting old, you know. It's, I love the guy. I wanna make sure you're good and healthy, buddy. He hates the camera. Absolutely hates it. He's wagging his tail over here. <laughs> he hates the camera. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot when you do that more than you think, actually, on the YouTube page. What helps me out the most, though, is if you hit subscribe and hit that little bell beside the subscribe button. That's what helps me the most. Because then when I release my video, whatever time that's at, you get a notification. Just make sure that all notifications are turned on. Then you don't miss a single one. Monday through Friday, I'm usually making a video every day. And on the weekends, it's something like this. Sort of like my home life. It's still about my trucking life. But uh, it's sort of like what happens when I'm not on the road. I'm still a truck driver. I still love driving trucks, but I'm not always going to be in the truck. Sometimes I like to try different things. So this was sort of me on the weekend. Weekend, Josh. If you will. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.